Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Who's standing there? You know? Uh, there we go. On to its new foundations. <laughs> Can you imagine them doing anything so quickly today? No. Yeah. yeah. Put the poles on, concrete of the floor, beautiful shed all ready to go. Yeah. And that is the coffer dam structure. Right. At the at the uh, the Humphrey pump, yeah. and these are the are the uh, the timbers that go in and make up the construction of the uh, in, of the coffer dam. Mm. Now, because the timber was worn out, mm. we couldn't we couldn't pump the water out of that yeah. out of that dam, yeah. uh, and had to repair the dam as well. Yeah. So that's the reason we put the uh, we put the other mm. bank across so we could get in there and, and repair it. Mm. Well, somebody's wearing hard hats and boots, Dad. Yeah. Generally not yeah, you. Back in the, yeah. You haven't got one on, I know. No, I haven't got one on. <laughs> <laughs> There's Lou and Dart there with a the shirt off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You've got that put on with those bloody u bolt things. What are those called? You know? G clamps. Yeah, yeah, G clamps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> G clamps there. Ingenious method. Mm. We use a, a double uh, sling. Yeah. Yeah. Is that there? There. That's right, Lou. Oh. All that part wants doing again. Oh, you can't repairing all that again. Mm. It has to be wood, does it? But, but, yeah. But, um, yeah. And it's stirring up all the mud so mm. we can pump it out. <laughs> After, after we... Uh, so we how got, long had this been out of action before you had to restore this? How long had the Humphrey been not working? Oh, it stopped in 1965. Oh, God. This is what amazes me, is how everybody knew what to bloody do in the first place to yeah. get it back to uh, well, working. Well, luckily we had uh, three operators that yeah. were actual Humphrey Pump drivers. Mm. Who was that? Bob Chamberlain, yeah. Lou and Dunn, yeah. and Tom Taylor was the chief engineer. Yeah. He, but Tom was retired at this stage, yeah. and he came back and helped us with that. Yeah. With some, uh, and this is removing the old, the old uh, timber screens yeah. that kept the weeds out of the, out of the front. Yeah. And after it was all cleaned up and yeah. dumped up on the bank. Mm. Favourite traction engine. I remember when you drove that up to the house to try and pull out those bloody palm trees. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. And, uh, well, and the thing kept, yeah, the thing yeah. Um, kept riding up the trunks. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. But you couldn't get it out. Yeah. 
Is that the compressor that's making it go? Or? No, no, that's, uh, I don't think so. Anyway. Well, there's a yellow thing behind Yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. been driven by the, that's been put, the, the uh, steam engine's been driven by the, the big road compressor that's towing yeah. on the back of it. And we're taking it out the one day. I wouldn't like to be that bloke trying to bloody turn the wheel. Yeah, right anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a kind of shoulder trying to get it around yeah. the corner. <laughs> We've got it out the one day pumps. Yeah. Because we didn't have a boiler ticket for it, we yeah. used the compressor. <laughs> Who's the bloke up on the bloody front? Colin Fanning. What's he doing? He's lifting the power lines. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, not the power line, but the uh, oh. the um, we had a series of, of mm. uh, control cables that went up mm. and took the tank measurements mm. and the flow measurements at Ludlow, mm. and all of those wires went up, mm. and he had to hold them up while we went underneath. Mm. And not a uh, hard hat in sight, that. There wasn't any vault, <laughs> voltage in it, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> he can hardly bloody turn it. He's up and his shoulders were sore. <laughs> she's a massive girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is what amazes me, backing that bloody thing under there. Yeah. How the hell did you do that? That while it's moving it's not too bad. What about has it got brakes obviously, I suppose? Oh, when you when you when you shut the throttle down she stops. And it just stays right oh, there. And while it's coupled up uh, into gear, it's going to have stand to make it move. Mm. Here we are, putting the penstock valve spindles back. They're the ones that carry the gas, are they? No, they, they actually operate the valve. Oh, alright. In the Humphrey yeah. pump? Yeah. Mm. They operate the penstocks that allows the water to go into the lump. Oh, uh, those things in the water. Yeah. Yeah. I can, you can see why I didn't uh, do the documentary on this, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I know where they go. We, had, they to, they we had to replace all the, the uh, spindles that were badly corroded yeah. and, uh, and then replace them. Yeah. They had to be dropped into the mm. into the sump and then brought up mm. into the the threaded the threaded mechanism that lifted them. Mm. Uh, as you can see. Yeah. So they came up and let the water in. Yeah. But the, the, this is the spindle. Yeah. Those those are two and a half inch diameter steel shafting. It yeah. weighs probably uh, two ton. Yeah. And on the top of that is a a two star is a um, a square thread spindle mm. that goes up inside as you can see where it's going up now. Mm -hmm. See that's a threaded spindle? Yeah. And it comes up to that crown wheel yeah. where he's standing and then that thread is that nut inside that, that, that crown wheel yeah. becomes the nut, lifts and raises and lowers it. And what does thing do? Open the thing to let water Right, and that's, that's what they're doing now. Yeah. See that, that spindle you see coming up oh, yeah. in the middle? Well oh, that's so the spreaded part that's yeah. coming up. Yeah. And that was the way for the last 
50 odd years that they ran a Humphrey farm. Yeah. It was the way the fence off valve was lifted. Oh. They wound it up by hand. Until you put an electric motor. We put an electric motor on. <laughs> because we, we, we thought we'd have heart attacks with the blokes. <laughs> well, no wonder you had to yeah. wind like anything, didn't yeah. you? This is preparing the uh, gas tank. The old gas produced, yeah. the gas tank. Yeah. And uh, after the the pump was uh, closed down in 1965, yeah. The, the uh, Loveday Peggery bought the, <laughs> the tank. they bought the uh, the gas tank yeah. and turned it into a silo oh. for their uh, feeding the pigs out at Loveday. Oh. Now the concrete tank that the the the, the, uh, the steel fitted tank yeah. fitted in, <clears throat> which is that. Yeah. That was the uh, the silo. Yeah. And we had to rebuild the concrete part. Yeah. Because it was all jackhammered off. Oh no. So we had to actually build so all that top section up again. Oh. And once it, we, we rebuilt it yeah. and concrete it, oh. we could then put the tank back in it again. So we bought the tank back off the, the piggery. What did you do? Just drill the it? hole back up in the side. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, then yeah. it fitted perfectly back in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it was an original. Yeah. So. yeah. So who are those blokes then? Well they're, they're construction workers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well it certainly seemed like a smooth operation all these things, didn't it? Well, really? Uh, they are brilliant operators. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's one of the construction gang from Barry. Yeah. And that's Johnny Ashton and the other one. Yeah. on dad it must have been cold it was <laughs> <laughs> been raining too yeah, yeah. oh this is where we are right. well now we're we're now in Matoa yeah in Victoria yeah checking out a group of four gas producers yeah that uh, used to run the Matoa Meatworks. Oh, right. yeah. And these, this Meatworks was opened up in, 2000, in the 1911. Uh, yeah. And uh, the uh, Avatar only operated for about two years. Mm. And then they closed it down mm. and shifted the Avatars to Melbourne. So that all that stuff, all of the uh, so that avatar virtually ceased to exist. Yeah. Well, in 1945, when the Japs came onto Sydney Harbour yeah. and blew up a couple of boats, and yeah. they panicked and yeah. said, "Well, hell, if they got into Melbourne yeah. and dropped the bomb on the, on the Metropolitan Meatworks, yeah. the whole of Victoria would be without meat supply." Oh, so mm. they refurbished them, mm. and um, they ran them from 1943, I think, until yeah. 1945. Yeah. And when the war finished, they closed down. Yeah. And and these gas producers supplied the gas for the um, the coal store. Yeah. They drove the ammonia pumps, yeah. gas engines that were driving. The ammonia pumps, the uh, auxiliary engine that drove all the auxiliary power. You had to cut out the wall, did you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and to be able to to get in to look at these yeah. 
by luck, we had a uh, a, uh, a vintage group mm. that came through Cobb Dogler and looked at the Humphrey Pump. And said they knew where one was. And I said they knew where <laughs> one was. And that's how we come to, to find out that there was these uh, yeah. gas producers were available. I think so Wayne, Wayne said it was covered in bloody bird shit. Covered, in, covered in bloody <laughs> pigeon shit. And all the rest. You had to saw it off right there and just take it like it was, did you? Yeah, well, we had to. Well, there was four of them. Yeah. Four gas producers, we only bought two. Yeah. And we had to go over there, dismount them, yeah. take them out, mm. and then uh, and 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 the uh, the gas producers themselves, yeah. the, the uh, hopper would probably weigh uh, five ton oh, with wow. all the bricks and mortar and stuff. Is that the tall bit? No, these yeah, are the big ones. Yeah. The, the high tanks yeah. are what we call the scrubbers. Yeah. They filter the gas and get all the impurities out. Yeah. And, the, and the hopper mm. is the firebox that creates the gas. Mm. And it's drawn off, and as it's drawn off, it runs through these hoppers yeah. where it's washed and the gas is made into a uh, a suitable thing to work fuel, suitable fuel to run the Humphrey pump. Yeah. So how long did it take you to get them all out? It took us. It took us. Uh, we took all the plant over there. Mm. A crane, two trucks, and, and uh, a maintenance crew. Yeah. And uh, we had to out. Uh, basically take them the wall of the shed out <laughs> to get the crane in there and to manipulate the crane yeah, was the like... most amazing piece of driving you would ever see. Who did that? Did John Ashton. Did he? He yeah. was the master. Yeah. <laughs> and he could do, make it talk. Yeah. He was absolutely brilliant. Mm. He drew them out. Yeah. Brought them out and loaded them up onto the onto the trailer, yeah. ready for transport back to London. Yeah. Well, that would have been exciting going oh, over yeah. there. We 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 took a gang of blokes. It was yeah. uh, six of us. Yeah. And uh, who's the bloke that comes around once a week and says, "Remember when yeah. we went to?" John Ash <laughs> John Ashton still reckons the greatest, greatest job he ever did. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it'd be exciting. <coughs> something, something good. This mm. is the gas producer. Yeah. That's massive white in that. Yeah. Is that the bottom bit? Yeah. yeah. That's where the fire goes. Yeah. So not only did I have to dismantle them, yeah. I had to put them back together. <laughs> take photographs to know how to put them back together. Oh, God. And also. Yeah. To repair them yeah. uh, before we could put them back because they were pretty badly damaged yeah. in the past. Yeah. Mm. So John manipulated that thing in yeah. over great concrete foundation <laughs> blocks. And, uh, absolutely brilliant, you yeah. Because you just couldn't just drive straight no, in. No, no. And, and how? Uh, I yeah. bet they didn't think you'd probably even get it out, did they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Yeah. And there he goes, he yeah. lifts it up. Yeah. But he can't articulate the crane because it's not enough room. Yeah. So you've got to lift it, yeah. go back a little bit, drop yeah. it down, yeah. manipulate the crane again, pick it up again so it swings into the, yeah. the right position. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He was brilliant. Mm. Is he still around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He lives, uh, he lives fairly close here. Yeah. Yeah. Has he seen this? Has I don't he, think so. No. He probably uh, no. like to see John it. would give his right arm to see all this. Yeah, well, I, I went on, yeah. I'll put it together and then uh, people can get copies. I might be able to upload this version onto yeah. YouTube if I can. I don't know. I'll see. I don't know. 
Yeah. 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 So who told you about this? Just some people that visited the... Yes, yeah, some people. And they were uh, um, steam engine. Oh, yeah. Okay. They were going over to... Uh, to um, Victoria. No, no, up here in the... Uh, um, oh, God. What's that place? Out in Clare. Oh, yeah. Bulleroo. <laughs> yeah. Bulleroo Centre. Yeah. yeah. To have a look at the big display. Yeah. And they thought while they were about it, they would call in and see what was going on with the restoration of the Humpty Pub. Oh, yeah. And at that particular time, we were working on the okay. idea that we would produce a, a modern day gas, yeah. saturate it with huge amounts of carbon dioxide. Yeah. To reduce the, the monarch, calorific, yeah. no, <laughs> carbon monoxide, yeah, to be able to, uh, yeah, yeah, to reduce, to reduce the um, the calorific value mm. from 2,200 British thermal units down to 150. Yes, which means I don't know what the hell that means. Well, uh, it's a, it's a, a <laughs> unit of heat. Yeah. Right, mm. modern day gas, mm. uh, what you get in the bottle, yeah. is 2200 British thermal units. Yeah. Well, that, they, they've got a new name for it now in the metric yeah. system. Yeah. And the, the, um, the gas required for the Humphrey pump was a low calorific value, yeah. like charcoal gas, yeah. 150 billion. British oh, yeah. So it's like kerosene, mm. which you can chuck a match into it and it just goes yeah. and burns. Yeah. As against chucking a match into a gallon of petrol, like, boom! Right? <laughs> so that's yeah, the difference yeah, in the two, the two, the, two, the, uh, the calorie per mm. And this, um, this. Thing on. And that's that's a big four wheel trailer. How and far away was this dad? This is a that's this is a Matoa. Where Still, is Matoa? Over near Horsham in oh, Victoria. Yeah. It's about twenty five kilometres mm. from Horsham. That wouldn't have taken just one day. How long were you there for? It took two days to, yeah. to, uh, to, move, to move it all out, yeah. fix up the shed, put the wall back in, <laughs> <laughs> and drive it back home for that. Was there anybody there that actually <coughs> was there? No, no, we were just given the go well, right. to take them out as we could. Yeah. We took over a maintenance truck. Mm. Oxy, acetylene, compressed air, mm. and took all that stuff we towed over there. Mm. And uh, mm. we were able to use jackhammers and yeah. oxy, acetylene, and all that. We took all that there. Mm. The construction crowd brought the crane, mm. the low loader, the trucks, the two trucks, and uh, yeah. So we not only had to take these back, mm. but the only fuel we could get for them was, that was the coke. Yeah, gas in coke. They yeah. were meant to be used with gas in coke, yeah. and we couldn't buy yeah. gas in coke at the time. Yeah. So there was about 30, 40 bags of, of gas in coke yeah. left over from 1945 when the pump was operating during the war. And it still was okay. And it was still okay. Oh. So we brought that, stacked it all around the, the sides of the truck, yeah. filled up the our truck yeah. and uh, took it all back to Ludlow, oh. to uh, Cop Dogger. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. And once we got it all loaded, we headed back to Ludlow. Yeah.
Because he stopped at the pub, did you? We, we <laughs> stayed, at this, stayed at this hotel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah John Ashton reckon was the greatest. <laughs> he spent his life. Yeah. Well, he'd probably love to see this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so doesn't he come around? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You could show it me yeah. on YouTube. Every time he comes, he yeah. wants to know that yeah. story. Yeah. And this is this is how we got them at Love Day. Yeah. At Cobb Dogger. Yeah. Unloaded them. Refurbished them and then installed them. Mm. Oh, the filthiest things I know when you used to pack them in, the yeah. black shit everywhere. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of the bases were rusted right out yeah. we had to replace all them. Yeah. The fireboxes and whatnot were okay. Yeah. They lasted quite a few years before we replaced all those. Well, they're quite big, aren't they, really? Yeah. When you look at um, next to a person. Yeah. But they were the old boiler. See, they're all riveted. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, you should have rung him and told him to come around and watch now, so then we might have had a bit more yeah. inter interaction in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he'd love it. Yeah. He would absolutely love it. Have you got his phone number? Oh, I'd have to look it up, so... Yeah, yeah but if while I'm here, he yeah. might like to see it. This is preparing, preparing the uh, the area where we were going to put the mm. the gas producers in. Yeah. We had to hook up to the old mm. gas pipe work and the old gasometer. Mm. All that had to be all hooked up yeah. so that when we produce gas, yeah. we could put it through the old system. Yeah. So we had to build those foundations yeah. and then install. Yeah. So there was a, quite a lot of work done on them to yeah. bring them to this uh, condition before we put them back together again. Yeah. Everybody with no shirts on wondering why they've got oh. no owners, hey? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's me. <laughs> you were in half of them with no shirt on, I might say. That's right, anyway. Mm. That's no, you've got a shirt. Yeah. You've got a shirt. That's me there. Yeah, you've got a shirt for a change. Must have been quite exciting along the way as you were getting closer to um, seeing it oh, worked. Oh, huh? yeah. yeah. For the first good. time. Yeah. You know? no, it was yeah. Mm. The gaskets nowadays don't have a yeah. stroke because yeah. that's all red lead. Mm. 
Red, red putty and... I don't say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, this yeah. is what I mean. You know, you've, you've complied with every health and yeah. safety thing known to man. And the because the flanges were so badly corroded, yeah. that's the only way you could seal them. Yeah. And that was the uh, first time they had to do it. Yeah. That was the layman's method of doing it back in the, the old days. Mm. Sick to death of bloody jackhammering. Who was that? What? Jackhammering. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, we had to make it just a little bit wider. We couldn't. We couldn't get the bloody. The. Uh, that's a, a filter. Yeah. yeah. And a seal. You had to lift the whole bloody thing out yeah. and jackhammer the thing bigger mm. to be able to get it in. <laughs> the old bubbles for this shirt off. Mm. Nice warm day. There were a few sensible people who wore hats around you, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Did you make sure the workers were cared for and you didn't care yeah. for yourself, eh? <laughs> they really are quite tall when you see them uh, when oh, they go yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. About uh, 15 foot tall. Yeah. And all they, they, everything had to bolt back together again. So. Yeah. It's quite a, quite a tricky job to get it all to yeah. match up. And that's, that's the old drainage we had to put in mm. to drain all the, uh, the waste water away from the gas reducers mm. and also the gas engine. Mm. Is that what goes to the tar pit? Huh? Does that go to the tar pit? No. No. No, it's, uh, no. it's just the wash that the washed gas oh. that washes all the impurities out the gas. Oh. And then it's just washed out and drained back into the river. So Bill was welding those things that played around on the top of those tanks, wasn't he? Huh? Bill oh. was welding those things that played around the top of those tanks. No, 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 those. Oh. Yeah, he, we always do the one that that floated, that floated in the Humphrey pump itself. Oh right, okay. inside. Oh. These are the. This is we had to put in a new rising main. Yeah. Because they were all dismantled back in the days when they floated the pump down. So what are these things called? Those ones where the water floats up and down. Those. What are they called? The play pipes. Yeah, that's right. These big. High pipes and the play pipes. Yeah. They're part of the Humphrey discharge. Yeah. I always thought it would go over the top. Huh? I used to sit there watching it for a, yeah. absolutely certain that one time it would go over the top. But yeah. it did. <laughs> so we had to put in new mains. These pipes actually came from, they were spare pipes to the old Loveday riding main. Oh. Remember those ones your kids used yeah, to play? Yeah, we used to walk and I fell off and had a yeah. nine stitches in there. Oh, yeah. Well, they came from love day yeah. and they were put in it uh, because everything, everything they did, they even scrounged anything that we could get for nothing we did. Yeah. And then they water, they did all the carding. And, yeah. So they brought them from love day out to, to there yeah. and we used them for this rising rain. Mm. They, was, they were spares that were 
left at Loveday. Yeah. When the uh, when the plant when Loveday was yeah. electrified. Yeah. I mean, everything that you have to deal with weighs a ton, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. like... Um... I'm surprised at this age, your back isn't absolutely hammered and you can't even walk. Yeah. <laughs> By doing all of that. <laughs> He was the, uh, the foreman of the, of the um, constructing gang from Barry. Alright, yeah. I can't think of his name. You said it the other day, I can't think yeah. of it either. Yeah. And we had to get that specially made yeah. for the siphoning device that goes on. Yeah. Mm. Because the pipe runs up and then drops down comes downhill again yeah. and it acts as a siphon when the hunting pump is operating. So it's got a it's got a siphoning valve that fits on the top. Yeah. And uh, we allow all the air to escape and then close the valve. Yeah. And then when the pump is running and the whole lot of it flowing over that siphon, mm. it, it becomes a siphon and sunk. Mm and improves the efficiency of the hunting yeah. pump yeah. by about two or three percent. Mm. So they tell me. And that, what they're doing now is they're putting a, uh, putting a stand around the, uh, the gas producer so that we can yeah, load the ladder. The, yeah. Put the uh, charcoal up on. Yeah. yeah. Well, this will be uh, really interesting for everybody because um, it makes so much difference knowing the story, doesn't yeah, it? You know? yeah. And, Of the thing. <laughs> well, the Safe, thing. Safety rails to stop you falling off. Mm. How's that? Mm. This is preparing the the old traction engine. Yeah. To go down to Adelaide to be uh, have the boiler repaired oh, yeah. and bring it up to standard. Yeah. And this is the it's the uh, SA Water low loader, most yeah. magnificent low loader you, you ever saw in your life. So uh, did it go down on the track? Yeah, it went yeah. down on this low loader behind it, oh. and that's the low loader. Yeah. It's the only one I've ever seen like this. Yeah. And the and the whole low loader laid on the ground. Yeah. And the truck drives away and drops all the, the front. You want to see how it goes out. Yeah. It's got a winch on the front and picks all that front up. Yeah. 
and, and as he drives away and they unhook it, it goes laid on the ground and it's yeah. got a, a tapered front so yeah. the tractor can just slide straight up onto it. How the hell it got to Adelaide because it hangs yeah. out each side about 10 inches, yeah. doesn't it? It's well, pretty... that, 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 and then he drives the truck away yeah. and, the, and the traction engine is just put in place and they just pushed it on with a, an ordinary tractor yeah. with a, with a, a pipe, yeah. a boiler tube uh, push bar. Yeah. <laughs> Now it looks pretty wide for yeah. the trailer. We're still steering it, yeah. but, but uh, to, to give it the exact measurements. But it was always it was always a foot wider than the uh, the low loader. God, we had to get a special permit to take it down the road. Stayed on all right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's twenty four ton, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want it coming up around the yeah. corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch, watch this yeah. as they put the, the trailer back on the semi. Yeah. The winch picks up that front, slides it over those slides, yeah. and pulls the truck itself back into the position yeah. to go on the turntable. Hmm. Bang! Yeah. Look at that. That's the truck driver. <laughs> Tying it on properly. Yeah. Mm. Wire it, um, putting the chains on and making sure she's... Looks fairly uh, mm. close to the edge, doesn't it? Oh, it Over is. Over the edge. It, uh, it's about six inches over hanging. Each side? Yeah. Mm. And off she goes. And off he goes. 24 tonne of steel and bloody mm. metal. And it's so great to see moving around and working. Yeah. I cannot believe they're just parked at Love Day at the minute. Yeah. So it looks like the gas producers. The gas there. producers are all just about completed. Yeah. All the welding's been done. Yeah. Handrails fitted up. This is putting the blowers in. Yeah. These, make the, uh, these gas producers weren't originally made for a blower. Yeah. They, were, they were made to operate straight off a four stroke engine. Yeah. And because we had to draw the gas off from the gas producers and store it in a, in a tank, yeah. we had to put those fans on to act as a. goes into that big tank. Yeah. Mm. So we. we uh, Draw the gas off from the gas producers goes into that blow tank. it into that tank. Mm. That holds 26,000 cubic feet of gas. God. So you wouldn't want a match near it or what? Oh, well, it would give you a bit of a... Beach. Yeah, but it's, it's sunny and low calorie. It's not high octane. <laughs> yeah, I they've made a new... Uh, a new set of stairs now. Yep. And that's the shafting that drives all the auxiliary power in the pump and stuff. Yes, and that um, um, engine next to it, that hooks onto it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And that, the old Crosby drives onto that. Yeah. And what's going on now, yeah. the chimney stack for the Humphrey pump, which is the exhaust pipe, yeah. 
was completely rusted out. There's holes all the way through. Yeah. And rather than take it down and, and replace it, mm. they decided they'd put a sleeve inside it. Oh. And that pipe that you see on the ground is a sleeve. Is a concrete line pipe. Yeah. And they used Dyer's crane and yeah. then picked it up yeah. and lifted it right up into the air and dropped it inside the exhaust pipe. As a sleeve. As a sleeve. Mm. And all the rusty holes have completely sealed off and that's a brand new exhaust pipe inside. Yeah, right. yeah. Who thought of that? Oh. <laughs> So they, the young engineers would have, mm, mm. would have found out where the, the diameters were and mm. they would have done all that work. Mm. So you would be praying, praying, praying right now that it fits in all right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, they were, they were pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we knew exactly what the diameter was mm. and the outside diameter of this pipe that's going inside yeah. had to be smaller yeah. by somewhat, mm. which uh, is what happened. Mm. So the, the, uh, the, the, the driving capabilities uh, of the bloke on Dyer's crane yeah. are pretty, pretty bloody Look at them, absolutely. accurate. Look Perfect. At this. Look at that. Look. Because obviously there's a hole on yeah. that side that has to go on that side. Yeah. yeah. So he's got to he's got to completely line it up dead centre. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. And then lower it down. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant driving, you know. Yeah, we hope it's not got a dent halfway down that yeah. bloody outside one. Yeah. <laughs> Is that you going up? Yeah, I went up there. Mm. I fitted the ring on. And <clears throat> So had you retired by here an hour, Dad? Oh, no, no. No, you weren't. No, we, uh, we were running a hoppy pump a couple of years before yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm. But in the meantime, the electric pumps were pumping water. Oh, yeah. 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 What's the objective of the uh, pole? Just to steady it or what? Yeah, we're, we're lining up the last little bit to make sure she didn't jam. Oh. And then once we got it right in place, we took the slings off and put the ring on the top and whirled the ring oh. so that it's virtually solid. And, it, and we cut the hole in the side yeah. and welded it around the bottom. Mm. Oh. Well, there it goes, is it? Oh, yeah. That's the ring.
I'm gonna get some gas. Yeah, well, we got the gas producers going, my dog. There's flowered gas into the gas on and gas chamber. The uh, yeah. the uh, gas on it. Yeah, this is uh, all those belts inside, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so, obviously, were you there the day that the windows got blown out by the... Uh... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, and truly... Yeah, was that uh, when yeah. they were demonstrating? Yeah. yeah. Who, was there, who was there that day? Um... It wasn't while they were demonstrating. Ah. No, it was. No, it was that was an operating day. <laughs> yeah. How many people yeah. were in there? Oh, a lot of people. And yeah. what blew yeah. the windows out? Yeah. Were they frightened? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was in there one day when it blew, but it didn't blow the windows. We were there one day, but yeah. it used to be quite <laughs> exciting <laughs> if it was kind of bad. <laughs> This is what made me laugh when they used to shoot out with the bloody ute to try and start this bloody thing. Well, they used to start it like that yeah. in the early days. Yeah. And pull on this belt. Yeah. But <clears throat> when they had it in the early days, yeah. they had a loose pulley on it. Yeah. So they could actually start it without turning all the shaft in. Yeah. It was not only turning on the loose pulley. Oh, yeah. And when the engine was going, well then the striking gear would move it across mm. and start driving the shaft in. Mm. But we didn't have a look, we didn't have a... Uh, I know, who the hell is pulling that is getting pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well I was, bloody hope was trying to start it on there. But it always looked like it was too loose to me, that belt. Oh that, we, we had to tighten it up. Yeah. It was no good like that. Yeah. You made a uh, motor, didn't you, to start it? Oh, you just tightened it two or three inches out. And yeah. Mate, it's, it's got to be fitted dead tight. Didn't you make a motor to start it in the end? Huh? You made a motor, didn't you, after somebody oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. ran across the front yeah. of the ute? Bloody yeah, year. we got an electric motor going yeah. there. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> who used to tramp the ute? Huh? Who used to who used to roar off in the ute? I don't know. Who did they were doing? <laughs> oh, I was I was just directing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that now? <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a former the construction guy. Yeah. Mm. It was my job to get the bloody engine going. Yes, well, it was a bloody tedious job because half the time the game oh. thing, it'd start and you think, oh, good, yeah. it's going, and then it wouldn't go any, anymore. So you've only, you've only got about three revolutions yeah. if it doesn't start. Oh, look there, that's it. Yeah. Start all over again. <laughs> yeah. Well, that looks promising. Is it going? No. Another oh. guy. So what did you do in the end? You made a motor that uh, actually started it. Yeah. yeah. It keeps the keep on driving. Yeah. Mm. Sounds promising. Doesn't it? Shortening the belt there. Yeah. Well, how come it's going without the belt? Yeah, well, well, we stop it, go to stop it. Oh, 
trying to start with his head. Yeah. Mm. Well, so when was somebody who didn't have a we bloody did, we, did a, we did get it going a few yeah, times, yeah. but it was just like it was time, yeah. time to get it. You just needed about 20 breaks there. Yeah. Unless you, if, unless you had good gas mm. all the time, you couldn't yeah, guarantee could it. Yeah. Mm. It hasn't been going for a long time now. Oh, and this, <laughs> this is the good charcoal. Yeah. Is that the stuff you bought back? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, that, that looks like it. No, that's the good charcoal. Yeah. yeah, that's the good stuff. You've got the bag stuck in there. No, that's, <laughs> that's sharp. No, didn't he get uh, the bag stuck in yeah. there? One of the bags. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Who's that guy? Right, Levi. Right, right. <clears throat> right. So you, that tips it down a bit so you can put more in, does it? <laughs> that tips it down a bit more so you can put more in? Yeah. yeah. It's got a butterfly there. Yeah. <clears throat> You fill it up to the butterfly now, mm. and then you open the, the top, open the butterfly now, and it all drops down into the fire. Oh. And you, oh, <laughs> this is where it gets the bag stuck. Now he is on video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised that I haven't heard one word throughout this entire video. Yeah. Then. They must have warned you. <laughs> Your way was very gentle. Good shot over there on the bag. Yeah. So you're putting half and half, are you? Oh, I don't know what we did on it. Mm. We, I know we, we ran out of the good stuff right at the wrong, oh. at, right at the end of the, yeah. of, the uh, of the official opening. So that's the getting the air to the fire. Yeah, this is getting it started. Mm. Well, where was it lit? In those doors. Oh, right. Right. So that's already been done? Yeah, been mm. lit. A bit like a weather yeah. barbecue. Who's doing that? Why? Mm. Mm. Oh, you've got to um, Fence, uh, you stairs heading up to the mm. tanks. Right, they're assembling, <clears throat> assembling the valves into the old uh, Humphrey pump. Yeah. How much do they weigh, Dad? Oh, probably uh, 150 pounds. Mm. They're pretty heavy. Yeah. 
you got to be strong. They're exhaust fans, they make them right And they're all man handed. <laughs> 70s whistle. <laughs> the exhaust valves. Alright. Black works underneath, underneath that uh, top um, yeah. gas belt, they call it. So what is this, a spark plug or a valve? This, this is a, a mixture valve. Oh. Going down there. A gas, a gas. So I used to have to put the bloody things in mm. and blow up and track them. God almighty, they must have been heavy. Well, they're heavy, right? Yeah. That's a, a scavenger bag, that one. Right. The second time we did this, we I put block and tackle down the bottom. Yeah. We used a chain block. This is a bug of an idea, though. but that's the way they used to do it. Yeah. And that's the way Bob and them knew how to do it, and that's why. We, that's why you did it. We did it, yeah. Mm. But as I said, the, since then we put chain blocks down. There. Who's the whistler? Huh? Who's the whistler? I don't know. <laughs> I imagine that's either, either Lowen or uh, Bob's up the salt. You used to whistle quite a bit, Dad. Huh? You used to always whistle. Is, yeah. <laughs> used to be always whistling, yeah. Lot is still here. Huh? Who added this lot is still here? They're still all here apart from. Um... No, Tom Tyler's dead. Mm -hmm. well, most of these 
some of them are too late, but yeah. why well, leave off then? Yeah. Um, Time on Doc P died. Yeah, Doc Simon. Yeah. Um, Tom Tyler. Ian yeah, Pasco. Yeah, we're getting promising now, I can yeah. see you fiddling around with that buddy. Yeah, well, right? Tom's, this is Tom doing the test one. Yeah. We're trying to get it started mm. the first time. That used to be the nerve wracking part. Everyone oh. would be leaning over the rails, yeah, waiting for the bloody thing to ignite. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the more water. All hanging around up the top to see the, see the water. See it first start. Yeah. yeah. That used to be exciting. See I all just... the old blue caps all yeah. by the end there. Yeah. That must have been so uh, great the first time it actually went. Yeah. You know, Tom was a bloke that uh, was able to do it. He was yeah. bloody brilliant. Right? Yeah. Was he the one that uh, got the thing just right? That was a technical part, wasn't it? Yeah. There. I always yeah. remember that bit. You know, I was, when we did get it started on the, yeah. on the official day, yeah. the bloody spring broke off. <laughs> On the on oh. the uh, ignition, oh, no. and I had to hold the spring. Oh no! While we did, <laughs> while we did the test, bloody run, yeah. yeah. Uh. Because we didn't have enough bloody chart, we didn't have enough coke to. Oh right. To, uh, so while we had a gun and the big yeah, chief, the big chief engineer, Peter Lewis was yeah, there, yeah. and he'd spent a million bloody dollars trying to get <laughs> going. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> And all we wanted to make sure that he saw yeah, it going. Yeah. That's all he wanted. Yeah. So down by that stick where that electrical business is happening, that's where the battery is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the two model thermal yeah. coils that yeah. create the spark for the ignition. Oh, there she goes. You have to. It's going.
set. Could have got any one of the grandchildren to do that these days. That <laughs> I bet they'd rather be driving than bloody pulling that thing. comes in. Yeah. That's the real thing. You know that thing where there's about three or four blocks of cement hanging on a chain. What's that for? That's camera. Yeah. Camera. Yeah. Camera went for the uh, piece of power. Is it going? For that flat? The drill mate? Yeah. It's a camera. several times and you get the right there's a lot of leakage yeah. Yeah. Mm. while the pump's running yeah. there's no problem mm. this is Peter Lewis this is the opening <coughs> is it official opening or official opening yeah. with some of the developments here I'm getting myself a lolly that's what Yeah, 
ammunition here. Thank God it bloody worked, huh? The big shift season. Good strike, I'm proud of that, taking a mark. 